I'm the little guy next to him. Jason's my best friend. When I'm home by myself, I usually just wait around the board. All right. So I wasn't ready for this robot. Like, at all. It rolled into my living room, looked at me with those glowing eyes, and asked, Hey, are you okay today? I mean, how do you even respond to that from a robot? This isn't some voice assistant stuck in a speaker. This is Yanbo, and it talks, learns, and even remembers you. Today, I'm going to show you how this little robot is doing something I never expected. It actually feels like it cares. At first glance, Yanbo kind of looks like a cute lamp on wheels. It's sleek, has a glowing face for eyes, and glides around your house with this super smooth motion that makes it feel alive. But the moment it speaks, you know it's something else. It moves in a way that feels natural, nodding its screen like it's agreeing with you, tilting its head when you say something sad, even scooting back when it senses you need space. It doesn't just talk, it reacts. And yeah, it remembers. Like when I told it where I usually leave my keys. And two days later, I asked, Hey, where did I put my keys? Yanbo goes, Did you check the kitchen counter? That's where you left them last time. What? Here's where Yanbo really blew me away. It has both short-term and long-term memory. That means it not only keeps track of your recent stuff, like where your backpack is or who you spoke to yesterday, but it can remember stories you told weeks ago. Like, I once said, My friend Kevin's dog is sick. A whole month later, Yanbo hears me mention Kevin again and goes, Oh, how's Kevin's dog doing? And I'm just standing there like, Bro, what? It can also recognize everyone in your house. It literally learns your name, your kid's name, and even switches how it talks depending on who it's talking to. One moment it's, Good evening, Anna. Next it's, Hey, Elijah. Want to keep playing that coding game? It's like it's building real relationships, not just answering commands. One of my favorite parts? Yanbo doesn't freeze when you interrupt it. Most robots talk at you and ignore you if you try to jump in. Not Yanbo. I asked it to tell me about whales. It started talking about the country. Whales with an E. So I cut it off mid-sentence and said, No, I meant the animal. It instantly stopped, said, Oh, my mistake, and started telling me about the ocean animal instead. That moment felt like I was talking to a real person. So who is Yanbo really for? Honestly, families. It helps kids practice language skills, plays games using real cards and QR codes, and even tells bedtime stories that you can scan right into it. And yeah, it can see and hear you. So if your child seems nervous before school, Yanbo might say, You've seemed a little anxious lately. Want to try a breathing exercise? It has 20 plus tools based on real child psychology and can actually notify you if it senses a pattern. It's not just smart, it's supportive. It even reminds you to drink water, to take breaks, and gently nudges your routine without feeling like a bossy machine. So yeah, this is Yanbo, a robot that talks like a person, remembers things like a friend, and moves through your home like it belongs there. It doesn't just do what you say, it actually listens. It doesn't just spit out facts, it remembers what matters. And the wildest part? It feels less like a gadget, and more like someone you're glad is around. Let me know, would you want Yanbo in your home? Smash that like button if this blew your mind even a little. Drop your thoughts in the comments. And of course, subscribe if you're into cool tech with a big heart.